Sua Santidade Francisco, concede de coração a desejada benção apostólica a Mayron Viegas e Joela Rebelo, por ocasião do sacramento de matrimônio, para que o seu amor, consagrado aos pés do altar, seja cada dia fortalecido pela graça divina. Igreja de São Miguel, Taligão, 30 de dezembro de 2023. My beloved, today I vow to love you with all that I am, for all that you are. I will cherish the good times and hold your hand to not so great ones. I will be your biggest supporter in every adventure we will impact on together to the highs and the lows. I promise to never stop seeking ways to grow together as individuals. I vow to always listen to respect your perspective and to always strive for kindness and compassion. I promise to keep an open mind and heart even in the darkest of times. I promise to cherish and protect you, to support you in your dreams and to love you unconditionally for all time. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you, building new memories and facing whatever challenges come our way. I love you more than words can say, more than the stars in the sky or the depths of the sea. You are my forever love. With lots of love, your sweet bun. To my darling Myron, hey, oh bumpkin. I still can't wrap my head around that we are going to exchange our wedding vows today on the 30th of December, 2023. Me replying to the story of Pi four years ago just feels like yesterday. Little did we know that God's plan for us began from that day on. I hope we always choose to live by this Bible verse, 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. From today, I promise to stick by your side so you can, sa can sail me through the rough and stormy seas. I'm just a baby, you know. <laughs> I will love you with all my heart, with every inch of my soul, and with every breath I take. I can't wait to walk down the aisle with you I like to end this with the Bible verse that I feel captures everything I want to say. Where you go, I will go. Where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people and your God shall be my God. I love you, Joella. I love you too, Joella. Hope you got all my letters. 24 of them. <laughs> Can't wait to see you. We have three hours left. <laughs> I know a place where we can go and be up. So come away with me, nobody else.
just to know where are we gonna go. Mm-hmm. I was just. to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the day of my life. I, Jwela, take you, Myron, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the day of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessing. What God has joined, man must not divide. A response, Amen. May the Lord bless these rings which you have given to each other as a sign of your love and fidelity. Take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Myron, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. From today, there is no me and there is no you. It is only we that is marriage. It says man and woman, they are equal, they are different and they are partners. partners. He put up a story of uh, a picture, a sunset picture, and he typed out the number of pi, that is 3.14, and then it goes on. So I said, I'll just uh, reply to that story. I didn't know him at all. I was just following him on Instagram, and then I uh, asked him, like, did he really type it by himself, or he just copy pasted it? That was the only question, the first question that I asked him. So it all began from that day on. So then he started sending me reads. <laughs> it was very awkward. <laughs> I didn't know how to reply to those reels and I should like them or reply to each and every reel. Christmas. 
We are still in the season of Christmas. It is quite right to say Happy Christmas. For those who are belonging to other faiths, compliments of the season. I am here to say a few things. I won't be raising a toast. The reason is I I don't go to raise toast. Perhaps this is the second toast of my life. I did something for my for my cousin way back in 2000. Way back in 2000 after that no, did not raise a toast. There are some reasons for that. But Myron is somebody special. Myron's family is special to me. And I'm here to say something to this couple. Myron and Joella, tum chi saut ko rung aung yog nanga sir. Aung saut ko tazalya tum cha family chi. Puri kurun tum cha avoi bapai chi. Tum cha avoi bapai chi tus kurta titli uni. Myron ang aung orkota zai ti orsa zali orkota. Pun Joella tu ka orko nasulo. Aung orko ay azun ka gori tu sar ko ork. Pun tu jaik east ma kamyo lai smisa. मिस साले अपरंतु तुझे एक तुझे बारबर शिक्ता लें तुझे एक गोट फ्रेंड हुए अनि मिस साले अपरंतु चाव पिया था ना उन्हें लग गया पदर्शी इस जैम ऑफ अ पर्सन वेरी सिंपल वेरी हम्बल वेरी गुड गर्ल अनि कितने जाएं एक आदत लिया काजारी जीवित जों अनि कितने जाएं ये दाखोई था तुझे आवोई बापाई � Myron, तुम चाहो ही बापा नहीं, तुम कहीं इतनी बुरे बच्चें वाड़े ही लें, तो ये तो वाली सर्विस को तय मायरन, but very simple, humble, आप लिया दौरान की देर रान ले जालियार, तो माता आवास को हाँ तेस्तेरू, आप लिया दौरान की देर रान ले जालिया सुद्धा, तीजाऊं कोडी, वो गुड़े एक नुस्ते ऐसा कुड़को, वो गुड़े अन्य अंगसुर देशतेरो वास्को वैचारी मोड अंगसुर ओड गोवा कितने इस फाउटे ही ला या बुरिया चे मकान जाए ते उपकार हाँ जब वसो तचे उपकार ढूँढ़ ता यू आप ती तुझे तुझे फ्रेंड संकल्प ती बच्चें ज्वेला अन्य मायरन तुम का तुम चाहो ये बापाई नहीं इतनी बोरी वाड़े ले आन सिंपल हम्बल � सोगलियां बहरे गुण क्या बस और तुम चाहो ही बापाई ची तुस करता हूँ दोगाई चाहो ही बापाई ची I really appreciate and I congratulate for the way you all have raised your children today parenting is a parenting is a very very challenging task you have done a good job may God reward you may God reward you with the joys of this marriage अंचे काजल लोगों ना बोल भी तुम चाह जीवितान जाई थी कुशल का यू। I'm not an expert in raising toes, but just two things I would like to you tell you, Myron and Joella. I would like to take the first name of Myron, first letter of Myron and first letter of Joella, M and J, M and J, M. सदांत मौका चीज़ है। Love is the foundation of marriage. Love is the foundation of family. Mogna Kaina. What could be the, what do you think I would say about J? I'm telling you, somebody says something. Ah, this is a perfect answer for you. I stown to me Jesu Chizaya. Moga Chizaya. अनि जेसु चीज़ आया। Some years back I came across this theme for a nuptial mass, and the theme was like this: one for the other and both for the Lord. One for the other and both for the Lord. From today onwards, Myron and Joella be for one another, be for one another, and both together be for the Lord. I wish you a meaningful. and happy and holy married life.
God bless you. It is my pleasure and honor to roast. Uh, okay, I lost the correct toast. This is Myron's roast, so I'm sorry. Let's continue with this one. <laughs> okay, so let me start again. A little over a year ago, just a couple of kilometers away from this place, I promised Myron, Myron that he would regret letting me raise his toast. And being a man of my word, I will stick to that. I shall deliver it on today. A little over 8 billion people on this planet, 7 continents, 195 countries, and India itself 1.8 billion. And what are the odds of two people meeting and creating a bond of a lifetime? That's truly a miracle, right? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about me and Myron. <laughs> Myron and I go way back uh, to high secondary school. We became friends over finding the most uh, convenient way to reach home. From there, I adopted this uh, highly unsocial human with zero interpersonal skills and introduced him to our parish youth. That is where Myron finally started making friends beyond school. Eventually, we started going practically everywhere. Even started buying similar things. Same bike, same car, similar suits. Very often wearing the same t-shirt and roaming around the village like, with no random destination in mind. At one point, family and friends really started questioning our sexuality. I distinctly remember one day we were twinning suits and both of us on our infields at church and uh, Clara auntie stopped the car in front of us and rolled down the window and said, Tumi gay <laughs> This didn't stop us from being gay in the eyes of society. Like a good couple, we took each other to bike rides, watched multiple sunsets together, shared numerous meals and cop sessions together and even guilt tripped each other when we didn't make plans with each other included in it. With all of that said, we have built a bond which is closer than a lot of siblings share today. We publicly insult each other knowing that either of us doesn't mean it. I know for a fact that, I, that if I ever need to murder someone, Myron will not hesitate to partake in that. I know I can trust him with my life and he knows for a fact that he can trust himself with me. I can no longer call you my friend but more so my brother. From servicing my car, to doing my household chores, to picking up my parents, from practically living in my house during my wedding, he literally reminds me of the song, You can count on me like one, two, three, and I'll be there. Oh God, I could go on and on and on about me and Myron, but since it is Myron's wedding, I'll be kind enough to include Joella in this toast. So since college, I've been telling Myron the way you interact with ladies to eglots mottolo. So much so that there was this one girl who was really crazy about my man here. And uh, when Myron didn't say anything to that girl, he was very upfront with her, a very good boy. Uh, when she posted a random picture with a little exposed shoulder, my friend Myron, the gentleman that he is, messages her telling her the picture is inappropriate and take it down. Yes, Myron was blocked that day. His friends and family, practically everyone was concerned that the way he was going, they would have to arrange for someone to marry him. Uh, then just a couple of years ago, while we were randomly sitting in his veranda, Myron happens to tell me about the most unbelievable beginning to a love story. For that, I need some crowd participation. Can anyone tell me what is the value of pi in mathematical terms? 3.14. Okay, that's not the exact value of pi, just letting you all know. That was what it started with. Uh, so Myron tells me, bro, there's this girl, and uh, she's from Margaon, and she's really sweet, and I've been texting her for a while now. And I'm like, and? and he's like, yeah, she replied to my post on 14th of March, fan for all you nerds, who answered my question, that's pi day. Their conversation <coughs> began over the exact value of pi. Myron, what's the exact value of pi? 3.1459. Yes. Okay. 
so, so the story gets worse. So I asked him, how long have you been texting this girl? And he tells me a little over a year. And I'm like, what? And I don't know? Later? A few days pass by and right around the time when I was planning on proposing my beautiful wife, uh, Myron tells me, bro, I think she's the one. And I'm like, who? He's like, Joel Ari. So, I was under the impression that my boy is swooping behind my back and meeting his beautiful bride. Climax alert. Nope, he hadn't met her once. But Myron was head over heels over the love of his life. Days go by and I start planning on how Myron will meet uh, Joella in Margaon. And eventually we finalize on a date when uh, I would drop him to her house to meet her for the first time. Well, this was the first time Myron experienced rejection. <laughs> As we pulled over to Joella's house, our beautiful bride had cold feet. And she was too scared to meet her Romeo who was waiting outside her house. Lucky for us, God had already decided. Within a couple of days, they finally met and they immediately knew they were made for each other. Now, we mostly assume opposites attract, yes? Not really for Myron. He fell in love with a girl who lit just like him, will not engage in a conversation without a stranger, or with a stranger up front. Again, only God can explain. Coming to you, Joella. Uh -huh. Okay, first things first, Joella, I'll be handing over a stamp paper with a request to let you meet, let Myron meet me every alternate day whenever he's down in Goa. Okay, okay. that's business aside. I met Joella for the first time uh, when we finally planned a double date. Auntie, uncle, don't mind. We planned a double date. And uh, Joella, absolutely silent. Only answering questions that I asked her and practically zero eye contact. However, as time passed, I got to learn that she is the perfect fit to Myron's imperfections. She's calm, she's composed, she's extremely caring, and she's a great human to be around. Being a teacher, I'm pretty sure she'll be able to handle and nurture the child in Myron. Also, a small word of caution to you, Joella. You enter a family where early to bed and early to rise is a proverb they live by. Lights out at 9.30 p.m. and waking up at 6 a.m. is late. They are always on time. Highly traditional and very close to the church. Also, they hold the highest standards of cleanliness in and around the house. Lucky for us, our groom wasn't sweeping the house today. That's because we hid all the brooms in the house. The family is the most tightly intertwined family I've come across. I've seen two weddings in their house between the last 15 days and the way each and every member of the family was hands on deck, ensuring everything went smoothly was an absolute delight to the eye. Also, anyone who has entered Myron's house will acknowledge the statement, They'll make sure you're well fed. And that brings me to kind of the close, to close end to my toast. So apologies to the ladies with high heels. Very often we are deluded to think that we plan everything and we decide what is best for us. I stand here today to testify that without God's intervention, none of this would have happened. Take for example the likelihood of Chuella, who never makes the first move, he would DM a dumb story Myron posted. What are the odds of that? A guy who practically spent 80% of his life surrounded by men, doesn't interact with most ladies, hardly travels to Margao and mostly sails in the vast oceans, lands up the prettiest girl in our game. Chances are close to zero. And yet here we are, we've stood the testament to their covenant that they made before God and we are now here to celebrate their union. Yes, this is God's work and this is God's plan. Myron and Joella, while God has been working in the background to get you together, I can assure you the road ahead is not going to be smooth sailing. This statement is not sponsored by Myron's company. You will have your fair share of calm waters and sunny sailing, stormy winds and maybe even some thunderstorms. And while you both are highly qualified to handle both the mechanics and the psychological tests of this journey, it is only by keeping God at the center of your marriage that life will be beautiful. 
my limited advice to, in my experience in marriage life, love unconditionally, forgive quickly, talk, communication is key, listen. Very often we act like we listen without, while narrating our own story in our mind. Always put each other first and prioritize each other over the entire world. Do not take up any argument to bed. Most importantly, pray together. Myron and Joella, I end my toast by raising my glass. I end my toast by raising my glass along with your family, your friends, your near and dear ones, wishing you a lifetime of love, happiness, and never-ending smiles. Cheers. Uh, good evening, everyone. I'd like to thank Father Xavier and Ivan for the toast. A tear rolling down my eyes, my Ivan. Thank you. <laughs> so today, marks the beginning of a new chapter in our life. And I'm so grateful to be standing here with my beautiful wife by my side. This moment has been years in the making and it's amazing to be finally here. Firstly, I want to thank God for bringing us together in this grace that we have found each other. And it is by His grace that we have been blessed with the love we share. I thank God for the gift of marriage and the opportunity to share our lives together. As I stand here together today, I am reminded of all the moments that have brought us to this point. The long conversations, where we stayed up late, the laughter we shared over silly jokes, the moments we supported each other, and the times we leaned on each other. Those moments were just pieces of a pie that led us to the place we are today. I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you here today for sharing this special day with us. I stand here as a blessed man, marrying the love of my life in the company of people that I cherish the most. I am grateful for my parents for raising and nurturing me to become the person I am today. You have unselfishly supported me throughout my life, showering me with love, care and guidance in every step of the journey. The love and support that you have given me is invaluable and I will always cherish it. I would also like to remember today my late grandparents, Daddy, Maya and Nana. Without who, I wouldn't have been the person I am today. I am immensely best blessed to have Maura as my sister. She has been my biggest support. And she has also baked this cake for me today. Also my brother-in-law Fabio, who has been helping around during the wedding, is just in my house tirelessly working. To my wife's family, I want to express my gratitude for welcoming me into your family with open arms. I am grateful for my friends and family who have graced this occasion with their presence. Your unwavering love and encouragement have catered to our strength and positivity, especially on the days we needed it the most. <laughs> My grandfather would say, I will not say thank you. Because what you have done for me is more than a mere thank you. So most importantly, I am grateful for, for Clara Tijin, for her never-ending love and support. She has been my genie of infinite wishes. I am also thankful for Jojo Dudu and Vinci Dudu for all their love and support. Also, not, my, not forgetting my groomsmen, the self-claimed laborers, <laughs> Graydon, Neville, Sean, Jonathan, Nash, and also not forgetting Ivan and Perlin. Thank you for making this day go on so smoothly. And finally to our guests, thank you. Your presence has brought joy and laughter to our hearts and your warmth and support is humbling. We hope you have a memorable time and we promise to treasure this day forever. There is always a glass to my beautiful wife, to our families and to our friends who have helped us along the way. 
May God continue to bless us and may our love shine bright for all the world to see. Cheers. Didn't know that I'd fall so hard Then my feet left the ground Gravity don't make no sense when you're around I come up against myself when Demons in my head get loud I don't know how you do it But you turn them down I snap, I'm on the who I'd be If I never found you and you never found me Well, I don't want to see you So won't you give me tonight And the rest of your life I want to have it all with you I want to have it all with you And when you open your eyes I'll be there by your side I wanna have it all with you I wanna have it all with you Cause your love is biblical Biblical, it's biblical If you ever go to pieces Fall between the thunder clouds I will put you back together I won't let you down I said I wonder what I'd do If you never found me And I never found you I don't know why I'd do So won't you
in all the old familiar places that this heart of mine embraced. 